Right now, 6 o'clock, KPRC2 Investigates has been interested in protecting your mail for years now. But just last week, reports of two more letter carriers robbed on the job, and at least one of the incidents spells trouble for postal customers as well. It's a story you'll see only on to tonight. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin, KPRC2 Investigator Joel Eisenbaum is live on Houston Southwest Side. And Joel, something pretty important was stolen in that robbery. Keith, what was stolen in that robbery, which is important, is this. It is a key. Not just any old key. These are called arrow keys. This is actually my house key. But for the sake of this live shot, it's an arrow key. And arrow keys are powerful because with it, you can open up entire banks of mailboxes. These cluster boxes would all be wide open with four turns of an arrow key. One of them was stolen in one of these letter carrier robberies. And that's just one of the problems. In Houston, just last week, under the radar, two more reports of letter carriers, perhaps with your mail, targeted and robbed. It happened right on this block. Really? Golly, I didn't even know about it. On Chestnut Street, just north of downtown, neighborhood social media first broadcast the crime. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, every day there's a letter carrier that has a gun stuck in their face and they're robbed. Case in point just four days earlier, according to a well-placed source, on the opposite side of town at this apartment complex on Beechnut. Same thing, letter carrier robbed. And that incident puts thousands of pieces of mail at risk because the cluster mailbox key was stolen. And that skeleton key can open many more mailboxes just in time for the holidays. Month after month, Houston is in is in the top five uh, as far as stolen checks. The car just drove up. The individuals jumped out. They attacked me for a key. Just last month, postal employees held a press conference in Houston to alert the public. Letter carriers are literally pleading with the Postal Service we need protection. We need protection. And there's more bad news, says the president of the National Union for the Postal Police. And they refuse to use the postal police officers. That's because of a three-year-long dispute over jurisdiction. And so the Postal Inspection Service, the Postal Police, now only work inside postal buildings. While at the same time, KPRC2 Investigates has reported mail theft and crimes against mail carriers are trending sharply the wrong way. This is obviously a safety issue for letter carriers, and it's a problem for the rest of us who depend on the U.S. Postal Service for our mail to be delivered safely. When these keys are out in the wind, that's a problem. By the way, we reached out to the U.S. Postal Inspection Service public information officer early this morning, have not heard back yet. We're live on the southwest side. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.